In this lesson, you're going to learn how to start adding different elements or add-ons to your page. Now, this is where things get exciting because you can be able to add different things that you need. If you need a video, you need some buttons, you need you know forms or whatever it is that you need, you can do that here. And to get started, you see this little icon here where it says add new element. You want to click on the plus. And when you do that, you're going to get all this information here, uh, different plugins that you can choose from. You have the content, you have the info, you have the navigation, social, and you have third-party plugins. Now, the, the only plugins that you have to purchase, you know, in addition is the Balboa Forms and the Balboa Gallery. The Joomla modules, you don't have to purchase that uh, because that just incorporates or gets you to add uh, specific Joomla modules to your website. And we're going to take a look at that later on. So let's get started first here with the accordion. So you click on the accordion. And once you do that, you automatically get this pop-up. And you have um, Collapse 1 and Collapse 2. If you want to change the names for those, you can click on this little icon here, the pinch icon. You click to edit. So I'm going to call this Accordion. Or matter of fact, I'm going to call this Video. You can name whatever you want it to be. You click on Save. And I'm going to change this one. I'm going to call this one Image. And then click on Save. So you can customize the design for these hair, which I'm going to let you just kind of use your creativity to do that. But if you want to change the text, you notice that the, uh, the font changes there. And you can pretty much mess with the different type of fonts that you want to go for and the color. If you want to change the color for that. As I'm moving this around, you notice that that's changing too. So if there's a specific color that you're going for, um, you can do that here. I'm going to change this back to the black. You can change the font weight. So you put 400. It's lighter. So based on what you want to do here, you can pretty much mess with the accordion that way. And you can change the spacing as well. How much spacing within the words. You do that. That's how it comes out. You can choose the size. If you want something big, that's too big. But if you want something a little bit bigger, you can do that. You choose the weight. Uh, you can do that as well. So I'm going to keep it at that 25. And you can also choose to underline it, the double uppercase, um, italics. You can put it in the center. You can put it in the right. So it gives a lot of flexibility for how you want to style. So I'm going to keep this one in the um, in the middle right now. And you go over here to the layout. You can change that, but I'm not going to change that just yet. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to just click on this X. So you're not done. What happened is right now is you can click on this. It's going to collapse them. It's going to open it, and it's going to close it. So what this means is that you have the option of adding an additional add-on underneath this video. So let me click to add new element. And let's say I want to add a video here. I'm going to type in video, click on this, and grab a link from YouTube as you've seen in the previous video and just paste that link there. And that's what it's going to show. If I want this to autoplay, I can just check this here. So the moment someone comes there, it starts playing there. Uh, which I don't need that to play right now, um, so I'm just going to leave it as that. So I can change the layout for this. So now I have a video for this particular one, and I'm going to click on this X here. Next, scroll to the bottom, or you can just click anywhere up top, and it's going to pull it up. Next, you want to click on this other, click on this one, it's going to drop it down, and you want to click new, add new element. And I'm going to type this one, and just type an image. And it's going to pull this up. I'm just going to grab this image here and click Add Selected. So now we have an image. When I click that, it toggles it up and forth. So now when someone comes there, it can, they can click on the video. They can watch the video. They click up. They can watch or they can look at the image. You can add as many as you need to. That's one of the really cool things about it. So if you want to add some more um, accordion, you click on Edit. Scroll up, you can click to add new and put the title. Click on save. And then you just follow the same thing here. You can add as many different things as you want. Um, so this gives it a really, really great look. So if you want to even customize this, let's say you want this whole section uh, to be a different color. As you've seen from previous video, you click here on the section. You click to edit. And you can change... Uh, the background, you can change different things on here. So you want this to be waves. Now you have waves at the bottom. If you want this to be whatever you want it to be, you change the color. 
and that gives you a lot of different things that you can do or if you want to change here the sections as well you can click here to edit and you can do the same thing too for the sections here you can choose uh, whatever you want that to be here so this gives you so much flexibility in terms of what you can do with it and uh, that's one of the reasons why I really love this because you can customize, you can tweak it, you can change the color for the section or the row. You can change the pattern and as you change it there, you can change the margin. So 25, put a 50, it looks like that. If you want to give it a different fill, you put it at 25. If you want to change the bottom. So that just gives you a lot that you can do with so go ahead and feel free to you know mess with the accordion if you want to change the colors you want to change the size and anything you have all the tools that you need